Hey guys, welcome back to yet another Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse a booster box opening. So, this is the second one I bought. I finally got around to opening it. And yeah, so, you know, without further ado, I am still hoping to get that Rainbow Rare Charizard. Um, I guess everyone is, you know. But we did pull a Rainbow Rare... What was it? Some One of the other legendaries, I'm not quite sure. But... We did pull a Rainbow Rare out of that one, and I'm stoked. I'm going to send it away to PSA to be graded, so it looks in pretty good condition. So, yeah, hopefully it comes back with a good, good grade. So I topped, the, I chopped the. Um, the tops off last time so I thought I might just open them this time oh that was not clear let me fix that up okay so oh well look at that straight off the bat a pip clop and that's one of the uh, the new like secret rare ones that's pretty cool nice nice color oh no look at that okay so there's actually a bit of silvering on top there that's a little bit of a shame and the rare is that and that's real crap so oh that's a, that's a little bit of a shame yoink uh, yoink haha -ha. I'll get the hang of it. Um, one, two, three, four, I believe. I like, yeah, I think that's it. I will get better at the card trick. I don't open it enough to know all these things, although I think I might be. I'm looking at some vintage packs at the moment. So, okay, so Clefairy is the reverse hollow. And an armadillo. Armadillo. Next pack. Has anyone out there pulled anything decent? Oh. Like a rainbow rare. Or oh, that rainbow rare Charizard. I did see a picture of someone pulling the rainbow rare Charizard and uh the normal one so yeah they're like it's it's possible to to pick them both oh shit it's one two three four is Charizard the only only whole only ugh. Like the EEX one, is that the only Charizard in this set? Or does it have a normal card like these ones here? Hmm, I'd have to have a look. Not exactly sure. There we go, I just gotta be, be a little bit more aggressive. Here I am. Oops. Maybe a bit more sophisticated too. Marsha, Torkoal, Flume, Cabana, Tepig. Hey, Golet, look at that. That's pretty cool. And it's not a good one, but it's a Fino or Fampi or. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. And I'll put that at the back. That's a rare. Right, yeah. made a bit of a mess last time, so trying to trying to make sure the cleanup is not the hardest. Except 
these packs are getting better and better glued together. There we go, that's what I might do. So, okay, Paul. Oh, look at that, Nick. Can you guys see that? That's, there you go. That's terrible. One, two, three, four. Well, it's at the back, so at least it's not good. At least it's not a good card. But mass produced, I mean, I guess you're going to get them. Assuming it wasn't me just trying to open it, which it wasn't totally, it was not me. Teddy Ursa. That's cool. And. <gasps> wow, look at that, guys. A Vileplume GX Rainbow Rare. That's awesome. And the centering. Oh. Maybe down the bottom here. I don't know. It looks pretty good. That is wicked. That is going straight into a sleeve. Maybe on the sides. Oh, you can feel the texture. Just putting that into a sleeve. That's awesome. So that will go just there. Nice. I think that's... Five boosters in and that's a rainbow rare. Hopefully it's not the only rainbow rare of the box, but I think I only actually got one last box, which means it might only be one a box. If that's the case, it does mean no Charizard, which is a bit of a shame. But so there's sparkle at the oh, there's sparkles at the back there, so I'm getting something. Here we go. Ooh, and that's a reverse rare. That's pretty cool. And oh, nice Venusaur and Snivy. Snivy, Snivy, tag team. That's wicked. That is fantastic. And that is textured as well. Look at that. The colors of that green are just fantastic. Well, that is. We'll go from this side. That's back to back. Like that's that's pretty insane. Can we do three? Okay, here we go. Anorith, Gloom, Fishing Rod, Slugma, Chinchow, Cosmog, Pancham, Drillba. Hey, look at that, that's awesome. A Torkoal, Secret Rare. That's a pretty nice card. I, I do like these, how the whole thing is holographic it's fantastic that over there and a slur puff regular rare okie dokie oh this is crazy how good they're I don't know how people on YouTube go through these so quickly because like some of these packs are just glued together so well look at that even that code card see if you can see that is dinted to hell luckily it is not a valuable card I mean, it's not like I can ask for my money back, but still, if you send them in to get graded, it's something you can't, because, like, you might be lucky to get maybe a five, if that. Hey, look at that. 
clay reverse hollow shiny and a weavile so that side is not giving us any luck oops I can open packs so if you if you guys haven't already checked out my mystery box opening I did post one uh, today and it's one of those Pokemon mystery power boxes from Walmart I believe um, Toys R Us I think you have that over in the US as well they sell them now too it costs a little bit to buy because I'm in Australia so I won't be doing one as soon as possible but I might try to get my hands on one of the ones that that holds the graded cards I mean it's still a, a chance of getting a graded card yeah but still even even that I've seen people pull out like gem mint 10 cards and that's amazing not exactly sure what the odds are since it's not a genuine pokemon product but and the hardest thing is getting it to australia as well but i'll see what i can do for you guys flabibi reverse hollow and a swan okay a swan Ta -da. Okay, donkey. Plop. Ooh. That's interesting. Just a common, but yeah, the picture I haven't seen before. Okay. Oh, that's a reverse rare. Vindicky? <laughs> There's no D. <laughs> and uh, I have no idea. I, I'm going to say like I want to be Suda Widow. Because that's what it kind of looks like to me. Ha ha, I'm gross. So, I'm not weak. <laughs> I just want to point that out there now but um yeah this is crazy how good these are like when I opened some of the old ones they weren't glued this good maybe someone goes a bit excessive when gluing them I don't know because maybe because people collect and hold st seal packs for a while and I mean, glue degrades over time. That might be why they don't hold as well. Hey, look at that. Alolan Grimer. Reverse hollow. That's not too bad. Ooh, and an Imbor. Yeah. It's not too shabby at all. A hollow version might have been better. So here's the thing. I know that most cards come holo uh, reverse holographic, but if it's a red, does that mean that part there is hollow as well? Like, does it come as a standard, a hollow, and then a reverse hollow? Like the um, power keepers and stuff like that. They had three sets, which I collected most of them as well. I didn't do openings of them. But I have a almost a fully completed set that I will be sending away to get graded as well. Because some of the holographics are really nice. Just visually a, ple a pleasing. A pleasing? Visually a something like that, yes. 
Magnemite. And... <laughs> Sandcastles! <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I can't believe... Oh, that's too... Personally, I cannot believe that that is a Pokemon card. As I don't know. I mean, in the game, it might be really awesome, and not to poke poke logic at the game or anything. Oh my god! But yeah, it's just like was someone really thinking? Or was it at the end of the day and they're like, okay guys, we need one more Pokemon to complete the decks. And someone's like, hey, why don't we make the Sandcastle a Pokemon? I, I can see that's how it went down. Yeah, you know, we'll make it look like an actual castle and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Rufflet. Reverse hollow. That's pretty. And ooh, and Polyon. Oh, I grab one already. Yeah. It's going a bit dry, unfortunately. We haven't I mean I can't quite complain. The first good card was a, was a rainbow rare. Oh. Either that, maybe I need to grow some nails and open these with nails. Seems to be a bit easier. Hey, that, oh, whoops. Oh, I did that wrong. That's a Sylveon, and that's the rare. Uh, okay, maybe I grabbed too many. Oh, that's it. Okay. So then all we have is a, either a secret rare or a reverse holo. Zangoose. I think I might have pulled that one already. Yeah. Next time it's going to be from the other side. Okay. Hey, look at that. I got it first time. Almost. No spoiling, no spoiling. How many people out there actually play the online Pokemon game? I'm really quite interested. I mean, I don't myself, hence giving the codes away. But, um, yeah, is, is it like the main series games? I'm assuming it is. Well, it can't be because it's like card games. Wow, yeah, this is not good. We are not having much luck at the moment. That's terrible. Radio. So, technical difficulties is always what you want when you are opening up a booster box. So yeah, my battery died, then my lamp died, then my ca my camera tripod decided to have a little meltdown and yeah but we are back we have recovered and it looks like the pictures are all back together and all hunky dory if not maybe better I don't know weird things just happened to me so I think it's four, unless this, yeah, four, four. ooh, shiny, okay, you guys don't see the shiny at all, actually, ah, oh. <laughs> spoilers, you actually don't see the shining. wow, okay, so, routes, it's monkey, weird monkey, roll it, hey, look at that, reverse, Imborg, and that's rare, that's wicked, and, ha, oh no, <laughs> so yay, 
because it's a Solgala and Lunia EX. The downside is we have already pulled this and this was the one that we pulled the rainbow version for. So, eh, it's not too bad. I will have a look to see, that's true, which one's in a better condition to send away. But no, that's good. It's awesome. It really is. But yeah, no, the um it was the right way around, so that's awesome. But there's still full cards, I'm not losing my touch. Hey, look at that. Is that a different artwork? I think it might be. I'll have to have a look back in my set. Oh yes! That's awesome. I mean, look, I know that they're not worth a lot of money, but that is fantastic. I've been waiting to pull, yeah, no one cares. I've been waiting to pull that card because I want to get this card graded. Uh, it just looks so awesome. And Oh, uh, bummer. The, I think the centering is that way a little bit. Mm. That's cool though. I will still, I'll still get that graded. It's, yeah, no, that's a very good pull. I'm really happy with that. I, I actually think that we, we haven't doubled up on the secret rares. I mean, I'm not quite sure how many there are. I probably, hey, there we go. I probably should have looked before doing the second box. But, yeah. I mean, in saying that, I have just jinxed myself and we will pull a second one. But, it's interesting that, that they're not worth a lot. I wonder why wonder why they're not worth a lot like is it because they're not textured because I know that the hey look at that wishy-washy rare hot that is actually our first holographic rare yeah we've had a couple of we've had a couple of reverses but that is our first holographic rare interesting I'll put you there. Wow. Yeah. Oops. Actually, I should make you guys work for it. One, two, three, four. And so I'm assuming you're scanning the little codes on the side. I wonder if it's at different angles, whether it affects it. Someone should let me know. Nice, look at that. A Mimikyu. And you know how I said about jinxing myself? Yeah. I think that... Hey, yeah, I think that is actually our second one of them but I mean I'm not gonna complain it's yeah they're still cool I'm I'm really interested as to why they're not not worth more money I mean not that it matters it doesn't unless you're wanting to um, sell them I guess but hmm it's very hard to predict when collecting what's going to be worth stuff in the future. I mean, it's easy to collect a set or doubles of a set and just like, yeah, one day it will be, like base set and stuff. But I've noticed that the un uniqueness, so the first time 
a certain card was displayed or a certain Pokemon was put into a card they become the most valuable hey look at that Komodo oh Komodo that's a very nice shiny that's cool the only the only thing I have to say about new shinies is that the old vintage ones like they had your uh, uh, co uh, cosmic is cosmic um, hollow patterns in the back where they had the spirals and they had the loops and they were very I don't know in, in my impression they were better these just seem a bit more like straightforward it's just a glossy background because in collector's eyes if a car has a couple of like swirls in the holographic it's what makes it really good slurpuff and a regular rare Golak. We are almost done. Yeah, which hurts me a little bit because I don't know, maybe our last couple. Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe our last couple are going to be really awesome. But is it only one rainbow rare per box? I hope not. I mean, I did open up the last box, so I should know this exactly. But a a pa 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 Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. A pa 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 pa. Ooh. A Flugris. That. That's a very nice hollow. Very flowery and. Yeah, that's nice. It does look like it's in good condition too. Yeah, nice. Let's go to the back one. I gotta grab one at a time. Oh. in my bottom did anyone get that? can't hope they did Energy Vibranium. Should be Vibranium. I know I can't be, but I'm going to call it Vibranium. Uh, Phantom. <laughs> Magnemite. Eevee. Hey, look at that. I actually don't think I pulled this yet. Chaotic Swell. It's a nice, pretty shiny. And why could that not be a shiny? I don't know, personally I think all legendaries and stuff should be shinies. Shall I come to think about it? You guys out there sh should be able to tell me. Is Melmetal in any of the Pokemon sets? Hmm, I have to... That's terrible have to look that up actually because I know Melmetal only really came out for Pokemon Go like let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu um it's not really part of any set I don't think hmm I'll have to I'll have to have a look Hey, Probopass. 
That's cool. Nice. Look at that. That's awesome. It's an ultra beast, whatever that is. Hey, that's nice. I have to say, I really like that explosion. Like, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Like, but in saying that, imagine that in let's see what in the like the fossil in with with that fossil holographic like the um holographic that a fossil dragonite has that would be really awesome it would be very good so roller skater clefairy hip bomb uh villa baby dangler dasko tadpole piplop a mimikyu matches our full art mimikyu and ooh, hey look that's three that's awesome that is fantastic. Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. That is a very nice card. Sadly, it is... So, here's the thing. There is this card, to my knowledge. It feels textured, but it's not. No, it's just a normal one. So, there's this one. And then there's the Full Art Rainbow Rare one. And apparently, there is also like a, 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 a statue version. And I did see the statue version. That looks pretty cool. So I would hope to get that. But I don't know how rare it is. So. Three, four we haven't yeah we still have a fair bit of boost packs to go actually just having a look i think we've got about maybe 10 to go hey red and blue tag team forever it will be ash and gary in my eyes always and forever ash and gary i did watch some of the new set our uh, new series but i don't know like it i know they're making it to keep the series alive but i know i realize it can't always be ash but some of it's weird some of the new series had ash I haven't kept up with everything, obviously, or else I'd be able to answer these types of things. But I did watch the uh, I did watch the Japanese version of Ash winning finally. The I'm gonna say it's Pokemon League. It wasn't. It was some other regional league. But, hey, Reverse Rare Weavile. Hmm, and a Warlord. But I myself, I don't like how he looks. Uh, maybe just because um, I grew up with watching him pixelated and... Now he looks, he kind of looks a bit more real, I guess. Bet. I don't know, it's Pokemon, it's not supposed to be real. <laughs> yes, I know I did just say that. And I am one of those people that plays Pokemon Go. Rufflet, Piplup. Alolan, a Volpix. 
and I for the life of me can't say what that is helio tile helio plop tile I don't know oh nice Rushy Ram and Xerops GX that's awesome it's a very nice card back looks in good condition too I just I don't know about the sides these GX's are hard for me to to work out whether the sides are what they're supposed to look like or are they actually damaged so I'm just gonna have to send some in and get the grader to to grade it I, I I won't be too fast if I don't get tens on them. They're not at the top of my list. Ha! Upside down. Four. But if they do, it's not the worst thing in the world. It, by far, it's fantastic. And then at least when it comes back, I kind of know what to expect. But even then, it's hard to look. Hey, big Jew. It's hard to look in the case. And uh, Whimsicott. Whoops. Red. We have so many. Oh. Okay, there's that hollow we got. Cricket Tot, Whoopat, Ducklet, Hippotile, Cosmot, and a reverse tadpole, which is yes! Oh my god, it's awesome! And I, I can't pronounce that. Who puts an X in front of the name? No, actually, I lie. It's like Z Zatu? Is that two? The other one's Natu. So, I can, yeah. Uh, maybe I gotta watch more Pokemon. Everyone comes out in Pokemon. Eventually. Oops. No one saw nothing. Chaotic Swell. Ducklet. Wallet, Rama, Slogma, hey, Azuriel. Wonder if someone actually knitted that and then took a picture for the Pokemon card. Oh wow, there we are, Charizard and Br Braxton, maybe. That's awesome. I'm so happy. I finally pulled a Charizard. Not the Charizard I wanted, but Charizard nonetheless. I like how it's got the green on the inside of his wing. Fantastic. Really brings back old school for whoever doesn't actually know the original base set, the shadowless version. Charizard has a green wing. And then it was later changed in the unlimited sets to blue, which I don't, I, I don't understand. I think it had to do with the anime that Charizard's wings were actually blue in the TV series. But 
It just makes collecting it a bit more valuable. Hey, type no. That's such a weird card. Tab Paul Flabibi. <laughs> and our reverse is something between a balloon, a sock ball, and a cat. So, it's all, oh, look at that. And the ro Rosa. Hmm. I don't know how many holographic trainers. Hey, that's rare too. Holographic trainers there are. But I don't know. I think that might be our first out of two boost packs, actually. Yeah. Like we've got reverse hollows, and I get that. But yeah. Pokemon. Oh. We are down to our last three. So, energy. Okay. Type null. Amulet. Erica. Oddish. Routes. Sungast. Sphil. Cottony. Rocketuff. There's no T, but I don't care. And a Gulade. There we go. These are the last two in our second booster box. Mm. And they both feel about the same, which means they are both not going to have hollows. Although, I think we are due a, f a texture. So I think in our last one, yeah. In our last one, we got a rainbow rare. And then we got two texture GXs. So that is really interesting. Okay. Here we go. Psychic energy. Gloom. Fishing rod. Chaotic swell. Crab lore. Kalvana, Chinchao, Azuriel, Ruffle. Here we go. <sighs> Chinchao. So, what I might do is I'm going to leave that like there. I'm going to try something. So, that is a holographic and hopefully a textured one or a GX oh my god <sighs> so and where is the code the code is there so what I'm gonna do is haha <laughs> One, two, three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one, two. And we have Red and Blue, Erica, Vibranium, Sandshrew, Ponyta, Sun Kung, Cosmog, Psyduck. <laughs> I made a boo boo. Okay. Alolan Vulpix. So, yeah. One of these is a normal one. Ah, okay. So, let's spin them around. Hollow Chinchow. Yeah, Hollow Chinchow. And then the next card. Nice. Mega. Lupini and Jigglypuff GX. 
I have not got this one yet, so that is fantastic. Shiny. And I think... Oh no, that's our rare. Okay, I changed that one. It's a normal. Nice. So, let's do a recap and I will sleeve these up. So, our costume cards, secret rares, I guess. So you got a plop and a torkoal. And I'm really interested because I only received two. This, no, three, thank you, four. Never mind what I'm saying. <laughs> But the best pull I think out of these is this one here, the Pikachu. That's fantastic. And a Mimikyu. Lupani, Mega Lupani and Jigglypuff, GX, non-textured, Rosa. And a Charizard tag team. That is fantastic. That is a good pull. Reshi Ram tag team. That's a nice one. There. Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. That's a very nice pull as well. I do enjoy that card. I don't even know, but I love the explosion. Florgus. Komodo. Uji Waji Solga in Luna GX and the two cards that would be the best pulls a Viola Plume GX and a Venusaur and Snivy GX can't get much better than that that is awesome I love Erica in there let me see if I can get a better picture like that. That's awesome. That the rainbows are just fantastic. And the texture. That's a really good pull. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much for that. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I will be putting up my PSA submissions very shortly. I just need to find out how much it's going to cost me to send it away so I can give anyone that's interested as much detail as possible. But until then guys, I will see you around. Thanks for watching.